Art Prize, a West Michigan tradition, centered right here in Grand Rapids. A tradition that weathered changes, yet remained strong until the pandemic struck. A year of canceled events, plans unrealized, dreams unfulfilled. But now, Art Prize is back. And the artists are back in full force. Entries that show pure personal creativity, those that honor diversity and social change, and those that remember a year lost to a pandemic. Tonight, we show you the best of the best. This is the Art Prize Awards on Wood TV 8. A West Michigan tradition solidifying its place on the calendar. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle DeSelms. And I'm Ryan Stroop. And I'm Susan Shaw. For the first time in three years, Art Prize is ready to start handing out some big prizes. And Wood TV 8 is once again proud to be your exclusive home of the Art Prize Awards. Tonight, we will celebrate the best of Art Prize. Some, the return that some feared might not have ever happened. An event that downtown businesses, artists, and so many across West Michigan desperately depend on. From a tin man to a flame-throwing robot, and every flower, butterfly, and dinosaur in between, Art Prize made its mark on the city of Grand Rapids, leaving no doubt that after a two-year pause, the event was back. As weird and as wonderful as ever, but notably different. The pandemic that forced the cancellation of last year's event still evident. With safety a concern, there was less art, more outdoor venues. And it was reflected in the art itself. I didn't want to just make COVID. I wanted to show our body's response to COVID, how we can defend ourselves. And since I had immunology, I started to make all these other colorful cells in here, which meant I had to save a lot of drug vials. <laughs> I wanted to create this piece just as a reflection of, of the grief and loss that so many are enduring this year in the last 18 months. Other pieces focus on social justice, encouraging tough conversations and deeper connections. There are so many different perspectives that people can see maybe the same situation from different angles or interpret different th things differently based on their own lived experiences. The Art Prize experience was also different. Instead of voting, visitors scanned QR codes outside venues and awarded prizes directly to the artists. And we took a portion of the prize money, $150,000, and divided that up into 465 prizes. And these monetary prizes are scattered throughout the entire city like a giant scavenger hunt. Confusion over how the QR codes worked caught some people off guard. But over the course of the event, the money made its way to the artists, rewarding those sometimes overlooked pieces of art. One thing, too, is I, I really like that it's you have something to work toward. There's, It's not like all or nothing kind of thing. It's like, oh, you actually get a little bit of reward. Although not everyone was happy not to have a chance at a big payout. Uh, I was hoping for $200,000, but um, I don't think it works that way this year. It worked for downtown businesses, especially restaurants that have struggled during the pandemic. This is kind of the icing on the cake for us, because so, we really needed these, uh, this volume of sales going into this weekend. Art Prize veterans happy to be back. Art Prize has built me as an artist, not only my portfolio, but it's allowed me to really connect and find relationships. And first-timers thrilled to have this kind of opportunity to showcase their work. Well, it will take away any self-doubt you have as an artist because there's so many uh, people supporting the artwork out, out there. It's, it's really great, great experience. But it's the visitors seeing their collective experience reflected in murals, sculptures, and paintings who may have gotten the most out of this year's event. This art prize just feels different. Uh, it feels like everybody's just kind of expressing everything they've been going through. And it's just like our community is actually just coming together and creating just that we're just creating. And so it's just really cool to see. It has been really cool to see. Right now, I am in the Ledyard building, and this is where the Artist Appreciation Celebration is going on. And it is quite a celebration. All the artists who took place at Art Prize were invited. Many of them are here 
including the top five. We are going to start tonight with that big announcement, the five finalists for the public prize. So any one of these five artists could win the $50,000 grand prize. I'm going to tell you to you right now, these are in random order. First up, Florencia Clement de Grand Prix for Guardians of the Sacred Space. Now, you'll remember these. These are these acrylic on the rugs on display at DeVos Place. Up next, we have Jennifer Dunahy for Serpentina the Dragon. That is outside the Amway Grand Plaza. Our third finalist, Christian Reichley and Monica Pritchard. And they're the mother and son team who created Before You Go. That's the phone booth on the Blue Bridge. We have two more finalists now. Todd Ramquist for Whimsy Wire World outside the Old World Olive Company. That's right there on Monroe. And finally, Richard Luke and Tiffany Marie for The Seeker and the King. Of course, you have seen those sculptures outside the Bob. So here are the top five finalists. There are actually seven. They're top five pieces of seven artists. How are you guys feeling? Congratulations. Thank you. A little nervous, but excited at the same time. I know you've been here in town for the last couple of weeks. Have you been able to visit a lot of our prize? Unfortunately, I haven't. I've been with my work, so I haven't really had a chance to walk around. So what was this like for you when you found out you were in the top five? I just found out just now when they sat me here. I had no idea, so I'm kind of like, it's surreal right now. Well, we knew that you guys were gonna, in the top five and you guys were sitting down, so I kind of broke it to you a, a little bit earlier, and she said, I don't know, I just told, I was just told to sit at this table. So then again, these seven artists for the top five pieces, we are gonna be naming one of them. One of you guys is gonna win $50,000. In less than an hour, we're gonna talk about that. But of course, we have a lot of other awards to celebrate tonight. Let's send it back to Brian and Sue with more on that. All right, congratulations to those finalists. Our first awards focus on the next generation of artists. The 8th Annual Smart Art Awards honor 10 Grand Rapids Public School students. And Donovan Long talked with the winning artist. A quick stroll through downtown Grand Rapids will introduce you to the beauty of self-expression. But if you go beyond the surface and the intricacies of these designs, you'll understand just how significant artwork like this really is. I wanted global warming to be a humanized issue because it's usually something political. Nevea Martin calls this sickly looking woman Earth, whose body is fighting global warming. She has icy blue hair that's now burning at the edges. She drinks from a nuclear power plant that looks like hot coffee and carries solar powered glasses on her shirt that give her energy on her worst days. I know what it's like to be ill and what it's like to be sick constantly and sometimes what it's like to not be heard about that sickness. So making Earth something that someone can relate to was really important to me. This painting Martin entitles Left Untreated earned her the title 2021 Smart Art Award winner. She participated in a competition Consumers Energy has been sponsoring since 2013. It honors 10 Grand Rapids public school students who use art to highlight renewable energy. Martin's classmate Ruby Taylor placed fourth. My piece this year represents rising water levels. Since day one, I've been thinking about the environment. It is that type of thinking that Consumers Energy wants everyone to adopt. We're all in this together as we're working toward a clean energy future. All of us have a role to play. Consumers Energy Leadership awarding Martin a $1,000 scholarship and a new MacBook. Other finalists also received iPads or other scholarships. But the real prize for Martin is seeing her work as well as her classmates on display. Really, really cool. Now, as Donovan Long reporting, and you can see the Smart Heart entries on display this weekend in the window of the Ledyard Building along Ottawa Avenue. on the Art Prize Awards. More than $100,000 is up for grabs. Next, we will begin the jury awards by announcing the winners of the installation category. We will also learn the winners of the Artista Latino Awards, plus a powerful performance by the Grand Rapids Ballet. And we will end the night with a $50,000 public grand prize. It's all ahead on the Art Prize Awards, live on Wood TV 8.
The Art Prize juried award for the installation category is exclusively sponsored by Hayworth. And welcome back to the Art Prize Awards live on Wood TV 8. So you guys, it is time to start handing out some of those big prizes. We will end the night with the largest award of all, the $50,000 public grand prize. But first, we have several juried awards to unveil tonight. Juried awards will be given out in four categories, installation, time-based, three-dimensional, and two-dimensional. In each category, there will be a $10,000 winner and a $2,500 honorable mention. Our prize brought in an art expert to handle each category. And they spent time here in Grand Rapids seeing the entries for their category to make their selections. Tonight, as we announce the winners, you will hear from those jurors and they'll explain why they made their picks. We'll start with the installation juried award. The juror for this category, Shannon Stratton, the executive director of the Oxbow School of Art in Saugatuck. Winning honorable mention is Olani Akindia Akarashi for Shopping List. His entry is at the Grand Rapids Center for Community Transformation, a new satellite venue this year on Madison Avenue. Shannon explains her selection for honorable mention. It's a um, kind of sculptural installation of um, like a corner grocer that uh, is constructed from empty boxes, packed, um, different kinds of boxes, mostly like for dry goods, cereal or rice or things like that. Um, and essentially they created that piece after spending um, probably the last, you know, 18 months or so of the pandemic. Um, collecting and delivering groceries for people uh, who couldn't do that for themselves. Uh, the artist also does performance-based work um, as well as kind of large-scale installations with like fiber materials and found materials and I think for me that really helps me get a sense of the character of the artist and how they did inflect their work with their personality. I think also in that work I saw something um, pretty wonderful about what it means to be committed to one's community and um, to help contribute to other people's survival and care in a moment of need. Hmm. Now the $10,000 winner in the installation category. Jean Na and Yuga Zhou for Project Unity, 10 miles of track in one day. This installation is at Anabawin Park along the Grand River. At night, a video projection memorializes the 20,000 Chinese immigrants who built the western half of the Transcontinental Railroad. Shannon, back to talk about her winner. I think that I think a number of people who were jurors and uh, folks involved in our prize probably we've all talked about that work. It seemed to be one of the most powerful pieces that was maybe submitted um, to the prize this year. I think. You know, we are going through a really important moment culturally where um, folks who've contributed um, to history in this continent, um, whose names have been lost to history, often because of uh, often being forgotten for um, both class or race reasons, are being re-remembered and those histories are being kind of uncovered and those names are being um, shared and circulated. And so I think for me, what was really powerful about that work was that there had been this research component um, of uncovering a lot of those names of those laborers that had been lost to history and naming them and um, surrounding the viewer with those names. I think just that they really nailed it in terms of making something that's incredibly smart and well-researched and powerful and emotional, but also very well-conceived in terms of their marriage of those ideas with the way they um, worked material and, tech and like technically to produce that work. I, I would be really excited to see you know, how they might take that work on the road and, and um, experience it in, in other historically specific contexts that would even enhance it even more. So um, just like, bravo. <laughs> here live now at the Artist Appreciation Celebration here at the Ledyard Building. So as you know, this year, our prize changed its format, and the goal 
was to get more money to more artists. So there were instant prizes that were handed out each and every day. We have some numbers for you right here now. Already more than $125,000 has been awarded to 200 artists, and there will still be more daily prizes throughout the weekend. Joining me now, Craig Sierra, who is just wrapping up his very first year as executive director. Congratulations on this event. How are you feeling? Oh, we feel incredible and couldn't have done it without so much support from the community, from this awesome artist celebration from SkyMint, our incredible app sponsor, Delta Dental, Wolverine Worldwide sponsoring uh, that grand prize, Hayworth sponsoring the Jury Award, and of course the city of Grand Rapids for coming out in massive support both visitors and the city side and just showing this incredible city what our prize is all about well I mean you can tell here not just by the artists who turned out tonight but really these last couple of weeks how many visitors have shown up yes and it's a true testament to the team of Titans that is our prize to really bring this all together these incredible artists again we're here celebrating them and giving away over a hundred thousand dollars tonight it's so awesome yeah. What's the reaction been? Because there were some changes this year. What was the reaction from the artists about those changes? Yeah, so uh, as we've mentioned, there's over 100 and almost 80, almost 200 artists that have received prize money this year, which is awesome. We can't, uh, can't believe the reaction that we've received from artists. It has been unbelievable. What are you thinking now? I mean, already looking ahead to next year, now that we're two days away from the end of this year's art prize. Uh, we're already in the planning stages of the next art prize. So the proof will be in the pudding when we receive the feedback from artists and visitors and venues of what next year's or potentially 2023 art prize is going to be. Okay. So I mean, because I know that the changes came from feedback you had in years past about the more art artists wanted more money. Will you take into consideration then the things that didn't work quite as well as well as the things that worked great this year? Absolutely. So after Art Prize, we always send out a visitor and a venue and artist survey. So encourage the feedback from all three of those, and then that will really dictate what happens in future Art Prizes. Well, lots more to come tonight. Craig, congrats again. Great to see you. Thank you very much. All right, Brian and Sue, back over to you guys. All right, you heard it. Art Prize back next year. Great. Well, throughout the night, we will also unveil the winners of the Art Prize Independent Awards. There will be two winners in three categories, each awarded $2,000. The categories are the Artista Latino Awards, the Asian Art Awards, and the Contemporary Black Art Awards. And here to announce the Artista Latino Awards is Guillermo Cisneros, President and CEO of the West Michigan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. The mission of the West Michigan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is to increase the economic advancement of Latinx-owned businesses and support the professional growth of Latinx. We support that price because we strongly believe that the arts are a very important model of the economy. They are an expression of our humanity and bring joy to our community. Thank you, Art Price, for your enormous contribution to West Michigan. We have two winners to announce each. Each will be awarded $2,000. Our first winner is Florencia Clement, the Grand Prix for Guardians of Sacred Space at the Vos Place. Our second winner is Russell Cooper, for the 20th of January at the Palette Coffee and Art. Congratulations to both winners. Next on the Art Prize Awards, the juried winners in the time-based category. And we'll talk with the five finalists waiting to see if they won the $50,000 grand prize. The Art Prize Juried Award for the Time-Based Category is exclusively sponsored by Hayworth. Welcome back to one of the biggest nights in the art world. Art Prize is handing out $100,000 tonight directly to the artists. That's right. Uh, next up are the Juried Awards for the Time-Based Category. These are for entries that change over time or are performances. Winning honorable mention are Eli Khan, Eric Friedlander and Jordan Hamilton for In My Dreams We Levitate. This is an audio piece at Muse GR on Leonard. First, we will play you the audio. Then you will hear why Asia Hamilton, the owner of Norwest Gallery of Art in Detroit, selected this entry.
it was an amazing experience. Um, it's a fully immersive uh, sound installation and, uh, you know, like a, a full composure of music. And um, you are definitely levitating in that space. <laughs> um, you know, um, it's, it's just an ascension of music that continues to rise. Um, I really, uh, you know, enjoyed the piece because it, it was, uh, you know, very meditative and um, I really loved it. Uh, it definitely gave me a feeling, you know, uh, you know, art that, you know, evokes an emotion or makes you feel something or, or when you walk away with some type of um, knowing or, uh, you know, some type of feeling that, that is familiar to you, it definitely pulls your heartstrings. Now the $10,000 award in the time-based category. The winner is Stephen Smith for Art Pod, a mini art gallery inside of a shipping container right here on Monroe Center. Asia Hamilton again explaining why it's her winner. Absolutely um, took my attention because it was, uh, you know, very engaging with community. I mean, there was so many things going on there. I, mean, I was like, I need to be here on Saturday too. You know, like, um, it, I was super excited about, um, you know, the various different things. And it was, it was ever changing as well. I definitely enjoyed the, you know, the, the constant interchanging of art that's going on in that space. It's very much alive, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, with that, there were so many various different, um, you know, genre, genres of art. Like, you know, we had video, we had trap tap, they had, um, you know, live art, they had, you know, um, just all of these um, various components to engage the community. And that's what art is, is, is about. That's about, you know, uh, engaging your audience and getting them involved and excited about the work. It's the actual movement, the constant interchanging of this art that keeps happening over and over again, which is an art within itself. The curation of it is, is really dope. I'm back here now live with the top five finalists. So somebody at this table by the end of the night will win $50,000. I know we've talked to a couple of them before. We're going to head down here to Richard Luke and Tiffany Marie. Welcome back to our prize. I know you guys have been here before. This year you have the Seeker and the King outside the Bob. How long did that take to come up with? <laughs> it came a while. It, it took me four and a half weeks to do, but there was three of us on it, 15, 16 hours a day. It was a lot of uh, labor. Yeah. yeah. How do you come up with the ideas? You know, we just bounce things around and, and you just come up with something. I mean, I never would have dreamed that that would be the idea when we first started coming up with concepts. And, Pelican painting a gorilla, but <laughs> yes, right. it's kind of cool. Yeah. What was the reaction from people who came and saw it? You know, it was it was exciting. The reaction first, they'd be like, "Why a pelican?" And then they'd be like, "Oh, he's painting the gorilla." You know. And then we have a whole story towards it. So once they read the story, they understood the concept of the pelican and the frog bill and yeah. and the gorilla. Well, congrats on being the top so five. Much. Best of luck, Todd. How are you doing? Oh, good. Good. Having a, having a good time. Well, good. I mean, okay. So the name of your piece, Whimsy Wire World. I look at your jacket. I mean, it's yeah, very colorful. Yeah, in Grand Rapids actually made this for us, Sierra Cole, and uh, it's one of our host family. So we get to stay with her the whole 19 days of Art Prize, and we've done Art Prize for. 10 10 years every year so yeah well congrats in being in the top five and right here okay so now this is a mother and son team tell us how you came up with the before you go the phone booth on the blue bridge so um well we've recently had a death in our family that has encouraged uh you know us to want to reach out and encourage other people to have you know the conversations that we hope we should ha we would all like to have but not all don't always get the chance to um, so that's a that's a major mo a motivation among other things but that's primary well it's wonderful congrats on being in the top five okay tell us about serpentina okay so serpentina is um she's my little swamp serpent dragon i built her originally for a haunted house that i run to benefit the humane society and i um, had a lot of people who came to visit who said you should put her in art prize and I was like oh no I couldn't do that so I just kind of got up the courage and I like typed it in and I just kind of submit and then I was like what have I done and, and now here I am here you are here you are in the top five as well as Florencia and, and you were saying earlier that you've been here for a couple of weeks what's the experience been like 
been wonderful, especially after not having any contact with the general public after COVID and everything else. It's just wonderful to be able to have the interaction, to get all the feedback. I feel like I won even if I hadn't won. I, I felt like I won just by being able to see how the people reacted. Yes. Thank you. Well, congrats to all of you. And again, somebody here at that table, the $50,000 grand prize winner. Brian and Sue, back to you guys. All right, Michelle, sounds good. Well, during Art Prize, six artists were invited to create artwork that would be displayed here downtown on the Design and Drive Art Contest. Here's the winning car. We're standing in front of it. This one was designed by Jimmy Cobb of Muskegon. Jimmy wins a two-year lease of a 2022 Honda Civic from the West Michigan Honda dealers. And you can see all of the design and drive finalists on display here on Monroe Center. Congratulations. Next, on the Art Prize Awards, the juried winners in the three-dimensional category and will award the Contemporary Black Art and Asian Art Awards as we count down to the Public Grand Prize Award announcement, live here on Wood TV 8. The Art Prize Juried Award for the three-dimensional category is exclusively sponsored by Hayworth. Welcome back. We are now less than 30 minutes away from finding out the $50,000 grand prize winner. So again, that's coming up less than a half an hour. First, though, time for more Juried Awards. Ryan and Sue, you guys have the 3D Award winners. That's right, Michelle, thank you. The juror for the three-dimensional category is Samantha Bankel Sheffman, co-owner of Playground Detroit. That's a gallery and creative agency for artists. So winning honorable mention in the 3D category is Virginia Montgomery for her sculpture, Sword in the Sphinx. And you can see it at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. Samantha explains her selection. It represents uh, Madame de Pompidou on top. It's 
very, uh, which is a, a French mistress, and the bottom is a sphinx, so it, it is a nod to French gardens, but more importantly, it's really about the power of women, and she has a sword in her back. So a lot of Virginia's work is really about female representation in the art world and what sort of power that they have in that space. Well, for me, overall, I was taking kind of a grand look at what the purpose of art prize is and how it can affect careers of their future. Like, who are we uplifting to give them a strong boost to continue their work and their practice? So there were some other art pieces that were very singularly outstanding to me. But as I dig deep, I really want to represent and support artists who this is their life mission. And I agree with the Meyer Gardens and, and you know, the, the art prize who gave her the grant to create the work. I think she has a really strong voice. I think that voice for women in the art world is important. And it's it just stands out as a storyline and it's her work is continually consistent and interesting, and I think it has an important place as the art world, you know, is sharing more stories of women and different races and so forth. So it was just a diverse yet strong piece to me. Hmm. And now the $10,000 award in the 3D category. The winner here, Holly Ross, for her entry, Soaked. You can see it upstairs at DeVos Place. Samantha here now to describe why she picked it to win. It is a smaller work, but it is very outstanding. You know, it kind of references to me a lot of what maybe Duchamp was after, like simplicity of common objects. But this is an exquisitely crafted ceramic piece called Soaked. It is of a soaking wet cardboard box, but it is trompe l'oeil. It looks identical to the piece. And looking into Holly's background, she really wants to become a career artist. And this award can make such a difference for her. It had great humor to it. And it was, again, just exquisitely, perfectly crafted. The detail on it is really, really outstanding. I think she is smart and funny and really, really just a great craftsperson and can be a, an interesting artist. And I think she has a lot of potential. We have two more independent awards to announce tonight. First, the winners in the contemporary black art category, both winning $2,000. Now, for this category, a panel of jurors reviewed artwork created by artists who identify as African American. So our winners tonight, Brian Whitfield for Planted by the Sacred Streams of Grace, that's at Monroe Community Church, and Olini Akayinda Akriash for Shopping List. And you'll know that this is the second award for Shopping List tonight. Lisa Knight for the Grand Rapids African American Arts and Music Festival talks about why the panel selected these two entries. Planted by the Sacred Streams of Grace um, really touched into the heart and soul um, when you think of our spirituality and how we're all connected and how this world is created and how we interact with one another. Um, it was it was truly thought provoking and me as uh, seeing myself as a very spiritual person, um, it really touched my heart um, quite deeply and made me really think about this past year and the things that people went through and the lives that were lost um, and the hurt and the pain that people have gone through, but also knowing that there's a, a place where there's a relief, right? There's a release and a, a freedom um, from the pain of what we may be suffering through in present time. Um, so it really, it really drew me in. That was actually probably my first choice, and I really enjoyed the piece. So the shopping list, uh, it, it, for me, it was very interesting as a mother, always thinking about having to go to the store and what things had to be purchased and what what I had uh, in my budget that I could grab a hold of, right? And things that I may have had to put back because I couldn't necessarily afford those things. And so being able to see that um, presentation that he had of all of these things put together um, was, was very riveting for me. It made me really think 
uh, deeply about who I was and how that actually impacted me. So it pulled out a lot of my past and I thought it was really um, interesting and intriguing to look at. And now to the Asian Art Independent Awards. There are two winners in this category determined by prizes awarded by visitors downtown. And here to announce the winners is Dr. Julie Blanca, the president of the West Michigan Asian American Association. Julie? The West Michigan Asian American Association's mission is to build an active and collaborative Asian American community in West Michigan, focusing on healthcare, education, and empowerment. Our vision is committed to establishing connections, enriching lives, and making a difference in our growing community in West Michigan. We chose to be part of Art Prize because it is a medium where talented artists from all over the world come together and are acknowledged. Art is a form of expression and a window into the lived experiences of our community. This gives us a chance to recognize and look into the world view that is different from ours. WMAA stands by all the Asian and other artists in Art Prize. We are honored to have you allow us to see the world through your lens. Tonight, we are announcing two award winners. Our first winner is Christian Rakeley and Monica Pritchard for Before You Go on display on the Blue Bridge. Our second winner is Michael Overholtz for Paper Cinderella at Oh Hello Paper and Gifts. Congratulations to both winners. Throughout our prize, the Grand Rapids Ballet and Degage Ministries have teamed up to create some powerful performances. Created by circumstance, shares a glimpse of the lives of people in Grand Rapids experiencing homelessness. So these performances include saxophone as well as vocals by people who are served by Degage Ministries. Take a look at this recorded earlier this year. One of these mornings, Lord, you're gonna rise up singing. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. One of these mornings, Lord, It can be done, being able to forgive myself. There's always help available. I just keep smiling. has finally come. Next, the final awards of the night. The jurors will announce the winners of the two-dimensional category, and then we'll announce the $50,000 public grand prize. You're watching the Art Prize Awards, live on Wood TV 8. The Art Prize Juried Award for the two-dimensional category is exclusively sponsored by Hayworth. 
Welcome back inside the Artist Appreciation Celebration here. We have our five finalists. They are waiting to see who is going to win that $50,000 grand prize. We're not going to tell them just yet, though. That's going to be in a couple of minutes. First, we do have one last juried prize to get to. Let's send it back to Brian and Sue. All right, Michelle, thank you. It's the two-dimensional category. It's the category with the most entries here at Art Prize. And the juror who worked to see all of those entries is Omari Rush. He's the executive director of Culture Source in Detroit and the governor appointed chairman of the Michigan Council for the Arts and Cultural Affairs. Omari picked a winner and an honorable mention. The artist winning honorable mention is T.J. Lick for Ask the Animals and They Will. You can see this spectacular painting inside DeVos Place. Omari explains his selection. The honorable mention piece was breathtaking. I mean, frankly and directly, when you walked in front of this blue-gray ox and you could see this incredible detail of this painting um, that at times felt photorealistic, but also at times felt um, illustrated, it was just really amazing. The format was very large and that really pulled me in in a way that was um, that was really interesting. It was in contrast to a set of other uh, animal um, paintings around it. So there was a bit of contrast there um, that allowed me to understand that it was standing out because the composition felt really special. The the detail of the painting felt very special. All art doesn't have to send some kind of deep, intense, uh, deep or intense social message. And um, and this didn't do that for me. It was just a great work to look at and, um, and an, a real achievement um, for TJ Lick. So uh, I was very pleased to be able to choose this as the honorable mention. Now the $10,000 reward in the two-dimensional category. The winner here, John Paul Gonsalves for Aging Out, 18 years old. This powerful entry is at the Grand Rapids Center for Community Transformation. Omari describes why he chose it to win the 2D category. At Art Prize, you come to expect uh, a certain amount of surprise, and this piece did exactly that. You know, it was a, a two-dimensional presentation of uh, tiny um, watercolored squares that when the light turned on, um, revealed a portrait, revealed a portrait of uh, someone who was um, in the foster care system. At the bottom of the piece, there was some statistic about their um, life achievement expectations, what they might do, and the square tiles were presented in a way that also reflected a certain kind of graph. Um, it was completely amazing that when the light was off, uh, they, these tiny squares looked just like squares. There was no sense about what was there. And then when the light popped on after 18 seconds, which in itself was a beautiful way to tie back to the title of the piece, um, all of a sudden, this portrait of a young person was revealed that really pulled you in and was really gripping. Um, so just conceived beginning to end was smart and thoughtful and engaging. The Art Prize Public Grand Prize is exclusively sponsored by Wolverine Worldwide. The moment has come. We only have one award <laughs> left to announce, the $50,000 Public Grand Prize. Here is one last look at the five finalists. One of these artists is about to receive a $50,000 check. The winner is determined by the number of daily prizes earned through those QR codes during Art Prize. Michelle, let's find out who won. Okay, you guys, this is the moment. Everybody here, very quiet, waiting for this. Yvette, nice to see you. Yvette Pittman from the city of Grand Rapids. How has the, these last couple of weeks been? They've been just incredible. The city has been bustling. Thousands of people, residents and visitors, are downtown checking out Art Prize. And we want to say thank you to our community. Thank you to every artist. Thank you to every sponsor for making it possible. Okay, well, I know that these guys don't want to wait any longer. You have the envelope. Go ahead and announce the $50,000 grand prize winner. Okay, and the winner is... Christian Reichel and Monica Pritchard with Before You Go. Before You Go. I don't know if you guys were able to hear that before you go. Amazing. Congratulations.
congratulations. Congratulations, you guys. Tell us about the emotions that you're feeling right now. Uh, very, very grateful. Very grateful for the opportunity to be here, for everybody that's helped us uh, make this happen and make the project happen. There's been a lot of people involved that helped make uh, the project be what it is. Um, we had over a hundred people involved in, in the interviews for the projects and all of those people made before you go what it is. Um, and so that's very important, very important. Monica, what does this mean to you? I mean, obviously emotions running high. I'm elated and, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what was it like working together, working with your son, having that opportunity? Oh. Awesome, awesome, uh, you know. Um, we've been close all of our lives and this just brought us closer. It's, uh, we're very different from each other. He's an artist, I'm a business person uh, and it was all about, you know, driving a business case. We had some moments of trepidation where we wanted to quit. We won a grant, thank God, from the Art Prize Committee. Yeah, very grateful And that. so grateful. Six weeks into it, we were like, okay, this is where we have to give the money back because <laughs> we're not ready to do this. We're not committed. But we pulled through. And then we pushed through and we did it and... Um, yeah, we did it. It's amazing. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to all of our top five winners. We're excited. <laughs> wow, you guys. I mean, that's the kind of reaction that... How that, exciting. Yes. ...that you yes. would expect, you know, just... Oh, just overwhelmed with emotion. So again, congrats to everybody here. It's been just amazing. So thanks for thanks to all the artists who are out here tonight celebrating. Back to you guys. Yeah, great That's moment. Great, is great way to start the weekend. Is, yes. Well, Art Prize isn't over yet. You can still see art through Sunday. In fact, there are still 24 monetary prizes to be awarded. So you can keep scanning those QR codes downtown for a chance to award cash prizes directly to the artists. We want to thank you so much for joining us for our exclusive broadcast of the Art Prize Awards. We will have a complete wrap-up of all the awards on woodtv.com. And tonight, the winners will join us live on News 8 at 11. From all of us at Wood TV, have a great night and a great final weekend of Art Prize.